our lovely friends, the Yorkshire Motoromas. Here's Smurf, and we're sandwiched in between our friends from the West Country, the Crafty Camper Vanners. And they're here there with their new camper van, the Warwick Duo. Well, we're off on a walk. Now, I think we're walking to a bus stop, <laughs> getting the, there the lazy way. We're at Go. Love to stay. Love to stay. I've got Kev with me. And Hi. Pete. Hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> and the girls are well ahead, as they normally are. And uh, dog, eh? we're going to go and try and find a bus stop, which is probably half a mile. Hang on a minute. I've got a little doggy. There's the girls. We're just walking down the hill from our pitch right at the back of the site down to the bus stop, we think. So, uh, that five or ten minute walk to the bus stop, that'll do us. stop. Yeah, well, uh, it's all very scientific this uh, bus stop business I think has uh, left it to the girls. I downloaded an app. Nah, couldn't work out either. But, uh, this is where we are. At the junction here, just outside Salop Leisure. And see our other uh, videos uh, for a walk around sale at leisure. There's lots of caravans and motorhomes for sale here, and also uh, accessories. Well, we ended up coming by taxi. <laughs> we made it to Shrewsbury, and we're in the town square here. That's one of two lovely looking buildings. Um, haven't caught up with the girls yet. We had to come in separate taxis in the end. Three in one, three in the other. There we are, there's a dog over there making a noise. There's some lovely buildings. There's some more over here. Let's see uh, who this statue is of. And the statue is of Clive, apparently. Here he is up there. Very proud of himself. We're just waiting down here, waiting for uh, the girls to appear from a shop. No doubt they've found a shop. And another cracking old building up here. I'm just going to take a little closer look at that one. Look at that. And there they are. Outside that lovely building I uh, spotted from a distance there. Here they come. Did you see Clive? Have you had fun? Did you see Clive? I did say Clive, yeah. Do you know who he is? Do you know who Clive is? No, we thought there'd be something about him. Oh, we'll have to look him up, won't we? We found, an, an, we found a, some lovely Tudor buildings. Yeah, there's one just yeah, there, isn't there? There's an art gallery Beautiful. that you could go in free of charge. With the church bar behind it. It's a lovely church as well. Mm. Yes. Little alleyways. Always good to look up in these places. Yeah, you see the shop fronts at street level, but the buildings themselves are just fabulous. Well, I've come down this little alleyway by the building that you saw just now, and uh, heading off this way, and the girls have got ahead of me. More stunning little shops and buildings at the end here. and the little streets and staircases. Little cobbled streets. Another 
lovely church here. Uh, St. Ogman's Church and another one here as well, look. And it's just beautiful little streets. And here's the three fishes. Shining into the sun here, but uh, lovely little walk. of individual shops here. Oh, they're going down this little lane now. Gonna follow them. I don't know where they're going. The Golden Cross, an alehouse for over 500 years. Let's have a look at it. And there it is, the Golden Cross. Another lovely building. And it's nestled in between some modern stuff. Now we're in the centre of Shrewsbury here, and some lovely sculptures just across the road. I'm going to take a look at those. Uh, I'll give you a scan of the map of Shrewsbury as well. Here. Quite enjoying just wandering around in this lovely sunshine. But uh, here we are. Pride Hill is that way to the station. West End is the opposite way. We're in Shop Latch. And there's a map. And what interested me was the uh, sculpture just up here. Rather unusual. More buildings that catch the eye, the hole in the wall. Like a little tapas bar. The Natwest Bank, every town should have one. Typical banking building, that one, isn't it? And then down the road, more modern stuff. find beautiful buildings in Shrewsbury and just down uh, beyond that is a lovely Tudor place and gardens let's go and have a closer look and just going into the uh, looks like an old church has been turned into a boutique hotel and just beyond that is a castle which is over in the distance over here amongst the gardens Another grand looking building across the road there with Charles Darwin sitting in the gardens and uh, we're just walking across to the castle here And here we are at the castle, which is uh, Soldiers of Shropshire Museum. And uh, let you freeze frame on that.
Come on then, Kev. Take your shot. Hello. <laughs> you just said it's got the arrow in still. Yeah, yeah, it's right. It's ready. It's, it's loaded. Yeah. Pull the pin. Pull the pin and off it goes. <laughs> yeah. No dogs allowed in the gardens here. Um, Please do not touch. But it's very pretty. And we're going to wander around and have a little look, see what we can find here. The eagle has landed. Over here, Kev. Ah, the golden eagle. Yeah. yeah. Wonder what that's about, Chef. I'm going to go and find out. And here's the eagle behind this bench. There it is. Does it actually say what it's about, Chef? It's not no indication at the moment. Yeah. So it seems there might be a German connection with the eagle. From Cologne, AD 1925. It's rather grand. Nice shot across here. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look round the castle grounds. Yeah. So you've got people coming round, have you? On Monday, yeah. Uh, climbing lots of steps again. It seems familiar. But there looks like there might be a doorway at the top here. Let's go and have a look up here. One or two views from up here which you might like to look at. I'm looking down at the railway station and the lines and then across the river to the town. So here we are, there's the station. Uh, just a, along to my, our left behind the castle and then the railway lines that stretch into the distance. And the river is right down here. Sue's just finishing a phone call. Pretty up here, isn't it, Sue? Wow. It's pretty. Yeah. Let's go around to see what's over this wall here. So you've got the, uh, the tower there, and then uh, over out this way is the, the main town of Shrewsbury. And behind us is the castle. We're just going to take a peek and see if we can find the prison. And the prison is behind the tree here. Uh, I think it's a museum now, but uh, it's just beyond the station that we saw just now. Here's where the prison building is. Well, we ended up having our lunch here. And it was very nice indeed. Highly recommended. And uh, have a look at uh, Crafty Campervanna's site because uh, Kaz took a lot of pictures of our food. We just tucked in and got interested in eating. But, uh, we're going to wander back now and see if we can get a cab and head back to Love to Stay.